que tu platicas. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Yeah, thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc. How is fit to serve? Lara bien. You doing runs out in the shit? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. <clears throat> Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. <laughs> Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place. I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, um, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. <sighs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. All right, now what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. But our work is complete. They will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an ark, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. 
Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition, every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability so to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are I got you things to do. Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. Move. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Defeat the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit. He's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, A terp turpin tur Get out. Shit. Get out! I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. <laughs> I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylacetic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, oh, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us.
Sir. Stand at attention. Dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I find you. you had died and I, uh, no, we were overrun and, and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody the was mountain. dead. And I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. Listen, now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they, are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me? If the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old.
Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood, a fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. St. John, come in. I've got another job for you. Come to the Diamond Lake Outpost. Copy that, Captain. St. John out. Corporal? Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns? I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, now that's more like it. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs>
Corporal, see you around. Move along, buddy, move along. Okay, guys, we're gonna stop now. Let's continue on the next video.